We're gonna review a bottle of whiskey. Welcome back, we're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan, I'm Sean, and tonight... These are gonna be full the next time you see us. Drinking whiskey that I don't know what it is. I drank it for the first time last night, and I want you to know, I don't want you to know what it is, I just want you to try it. So I'm gonna go fill these up. This will be more fun this time. It's never fun this way. It's <laughs> more fun. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, here's the thing. When you smell it, tell me what it smells like immediately. Whiskey. Yep. Oh. What? There, listen. It's one, it's the most nostalgic specific smell I've ever smelled on whiskey for me in my life. Try and decide if it's weeded or not. That's weird. I actually don't know if it's weeded. It's got some um, like funkiness to it. I'm gonna give you a hint. What's your nostalgia note? You want me to tell you? No, because I can't smell shit because all this smoke in My the gosh. air. Hey, Canada, put a, put a fire out, please. It's so foggy. Dude, it's, and it's four people tried it last night, wrote down the note, and we all had the same note. All of us. Is it Tennessee? No. Is it Dickel in there? No, no. What is that funkiness? It's Kentucky. Is it? Mm hmm. I get some funk out of her. Apple. Right, I'm, I'm going to try it. It smells like Quaker oatmeal, apple cinnamon. Literally the <laughs> pouch. You open the pouch, they said apple cider donuts. Same mm. thing, different day. It tastes like that. Yes. Holy crap. Isn't that not the wildest thing in the world? It literally tastes like that um, cinnamon sugar, apple, oat, instant oats. The best Quaker flavor, period. Hands down, it's not even close. I am madly. I don't get it off. Look, in maybe love if I go this. back to it. Now you will. I'm madly in love with this whiskey. I get the cinnamon and the boutique aspect about yeah. it. It's really funky. Maybe that's why I thought it was weird. It is. It's, it's really it's, funky in the It mix. is. It's really, really. It's not like if I if I'd like hand that to you and said, this is Dude. bourbon, you'd be like, no, it's not. Like that would All be the I can thing. smell is Quaker oats now. It's amazing. I love it so much. I love it so much. This feels like flavored whiskey. It's not flavored whiskey. 110 proof. I like it. It's good proof. Do you want to know how much it costs? I don't know the mash bill. I don't even know the source. I need I need to know what this is. Get the bottle. Out. Do you like it? I don't hate it. $50. That's not bad. Proof, 110 $50. proof, 50 bucks. Really interesting. You give that the to someone. The most interesting thing ever. It's, it's a definite conversation starter in whiskey. I like it. This is the first Ambarana finished whiskey you've ever liked. What? I swear to God. No way. I swear this to is God. Not I swear to God. I swear on my life. I don't get it at all. That's from the guys who make WM Tar. They're RD1 now. This is RD1's oh. Ambarana finished Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, this, okay, this is this is kind of weird. This was sent to us, but not this bottle. The bottle that was sent to us by RD1 is not open. Garrett showed up and brought this as a gift and said, I'm trying to find something you don't you guys don't have, right? Brought this. We opened it last night. And I was like, I'm getting real into Amarana stuff. And we opened it and I'm like, that this may be the first Amarana Sean doesn't hate. Cause it's apple and it's so not- so light. I love it so much. See, okay, that's, and there's one stave in that barrel that's Amarana. It was there for a day. That's it. It was there for so one it's, day. It's super light, but it gives this really weird, funky cinnamon. I, An apple. At just- That could be the oof, bourbon. I love the apple, dude. That could be the bourbon be, doing that. But it's so apple-y. It is just like apple cider donuts. It's just like the Quaker apple cider or apple cinnamon oatmeal. Now they're like- Way so more in the palate too. This was a gift from Garrett. The one that RD1 sent us isn't open. This is sold in Michigan and is $50. It's, they're like, they're moving distribution out and it's 110 proof. Amarana finished bourbon at 110 proof for $50. Maybe the, like the best value in Amarana ever. You think they just took like one stave, stirred the and that, barrel, right. and then took Maybe that that's stave out, and then it was like, oh, that's the perfect amount of Amarana that it we is. needed. I've never had apple in Amarana before, and normally we get the cinnamon French toasty notes. Yes. And a lot of times, not every time for me, but a lot of times Amarana is overdone or overfinished. Yes, it's way too much for me. This Man. is, I think that this is the best introduction to Amarana ever. I don't, so normally for me, Amarana is like very waxy. Yeah. It feels like a cinnamon toast crunch candle. candle. Yeah. Like it is just too thick. It is very overpowering. It runs down every flavor in the bourbon or like sometimes it's better with a little rye. Um, True. 
this feels really <laughs> well put together. As soon as you drink it, as soon as you swallow it and it hits the finish, it's like, wow, that's an apple, huh? Like an apple um, cider, apple cinnamon. Like, I don't know. I even, I do, I, huge shout out to RD1 for sending this one, but huge shout out to Garrett. We opened this literally yesterday because Garrett brought us a gift and I'm like, we got to open it together. I'm was excited just because I'm starting to like Amarana. When we drank it, I got even more excited because I'm like, I feel like you could give this to people who don't love Amarana and they would like that. Also, almost every other Amarana we've ever had has been low proof. Yeah. Outside of Nulu. Rare Character, Nulu's, and um, Forgate. Yeah, forget about Forgate. But the Forgate was also like a 200 to $250 bottle. Yep. Those Nulu's are over 100 for I sure. I was gonna say low 100. For sure, over 100. Um, Rio was just impossible to find, right? Like it was 80 bucks, but it was unfindable. This is fifty dollars and findable, and I think if you want to, if you want to play with Ambarana, you want to get into it a little bit. Fifty bucks, you can do it. Here's the thing, though: you're gonna taste that and be like, "Oh, I like Ambarana," and then have <laughs> other Ambarana things and go, "What was that?" That's fair. That's true, though. That is very true. Um, I will. Well, I will never not have a bottle of this as long as I can buy it. A minus. A plus. I. This is no. Fifty. I want to say flat A. Fifty bucks. But it's Ambarana. It's so it goes down A minus. <laughs> It's, dude, it's good. For $50, it's just the best. Whiskey's so expensive right now. So what's funny is empty glass. Yeah. I think you can smell more of the Ambarana. Okay. Like more, like the cinnamon. Oh yeah, okay. Like, um, like really I still don't get the waxy part. Like just a smidge. You know what I think, I think they did well here is you still get whiskey in it. Yes. What an Ambarana does is remove whiskey and you, adds Ambarana. You enhanced the bourbon. Yes. You, you did not completely Destroy change the, the profile of it. I That's give this good. the highest grade. I, I would, this is a keep on my shelf personally for eternity. I had 110 proof also, it doesn't drink like 110 proof and you just soup, I just crush the hell out of it. For real, A minus though, it tastes just a smidgy. That's my only okay. complaint. Like sure. I'm gonna guess it's five, four or five years maybe. I have no idea. I, I couldn't find anything on there. Yeah. Uh, that would be my guess of range. If the other ones that, the other ones best. say ages on the bot. The one non-finished, yeah. they say like four plus or five plus yeah. or whatever on them. Um, I haven't, we haven't opened any of the other ones. This. That's good. I will never not have it. I won't. I, I think if you're, even if you were on the line of not liking Amara, I think you should go try one of these. It's, try it at a bar if you don't want to spend $50. But that's 100% worth 50, every penny of $50. Shout out to Liquid IV, sugar-free, green grape. Click, just click the link below. Mm. I mean, they didn't even sponsor the video, but there's mm -hmm. a link. Our discount, depending on when this comes out, could be 25%. Yeah, it's like 4th of July. It. Check it. So yeah, it click is. Click it. Um, like, comment, subscribe. That wasn't a real plug. It wasn't really an ad. I just really enjoy that flavor. I love that whiskey 